This video is meant to demonstrate how to install your Xerox AltaLink printer at the various Century 21 Masters locations on your Mac OS device. Please note, before you get started, you will be required to be at the location with the printer that you are looking to install and have your device connected to the wireless or wired connected or wireless or wired network that the printer is connected to at the location that you are at. For this example, I am at the South location. If you do not know your user access code, you will be required to reach out to your admin support person or your direct report who can set you up with a new code or correct your existing code. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is to determine what OS version your computer is running on. To do that, go to the Apple in the corner and go to About This Mac. For this example, I'm using a device that has Mac OS Monterey. Note the full version name and the version number. The next step is to navigate to Safari and launch a brand new browser window. Go to the address bar and type in www.xerox.ca and hit enter. Once on the Xerox page, you can choose Continuing Canada English or proceed to the search. Click the hourglass and in the search bar type C8130. That's the printer series number we're going to begin with. Hit search and it'll bring up the results. You're looking for the link that's usually first in line that says drivers and downloads. Go ahead and click that. Please note that this series covers all the different color versions of the AltaLink printer. Once on the driver download page, scroll down and under platform, click Windows and make sure to select your Mac OS version. Then click Apply Filters. This will bring up all the Mac OS software. Next, click I agree to the terms and conditions on the Mac OS print and scan driver installer. Click Download and this will start a download on your computer. For the purposes of this, this example, I've already downloaded the driver. Once you've downloaded the driver, you can close the Safari window. Next, let's go to Finder and Downloads and locate the download driver file. It should be labeled something Xerox Drivers. Go ahead and double click the icon to open the folder and double click the driver to launch the installer package. Depending on your version of OS and your device, it may take a minute or two to launch. The warning that comes up, go ahead and click Allow. First, we'll start off an introduction. Click Continue. Read your user account agreement or proceed by clicking Continue and Agree. Please note you cannot proceed with installing the driver or the printer without agreeing. On Install Type, click Next or install. You may be prompted to enter your password for this computer, depending on your security settings. In enter your password and click install. The driver is currently installing. Now that the driver is installed, it will show Select Printer. Your printer may come up while the auto discovery is on, but quite often it will not display. Go ahead and click Do Not See Your Printer. This will allow you to add the printer by the IP address. You can get the IP address from the admin at your location or by going up to the printer, clicking the device icon from the main screen on the printer, then clicking Information Pages and finally clicking Print Basic, Config Basic Configuration Page. On the first page that prints out, it will show the IP address. For the one at the south location, the number is 192.168.5.116. Again, check with your admin for your IP address. Once you see the printer visible, go ahead and click Continue. Your printer is now installed. You can print a test page, but it will provide an error because we have not configured the accounting code. So instead of clicking print a test page, just continue past. 
you'll be prompted to give you an option to download the Xerox print and scan experience. I would skip past that for now and click continue. Congratulations, the driver is now installed for your Xerox AlphaLink printer on your Mac OS. The next step is to add your user account code to give you permission to print on this device. Go ahead and close the driver and you can exit and close any other windows you have open. To configure the presets and create a preset where we enter your user account code and save it, we simply need to open a file that we want to print as a test. You can open any file, PDF or otherwise, that is printable on your computer. For this, I'm going to go ahead and open a test PDF file within Safari. Once you've opened your test file, navigate to File and then Print from the dialog window you're in. For example, I'm in Safari, so File Print. Note, if you're not in Safari, you can use your Command button and then P to trigger the print protocol. Go to File Print and it'll bring up your print dialog box. Next, we want to go ahead and navigate to your printer. C21 South printer is the AltaLink we added, but it may be listed as a Xerox AltaLink depending on the location you're at. Select the appropriate printer for your location. Next, we're going to proceed to programming in your accounting codes. Where layout is noted, you're going to want to click and scroll down in the menu to Xerox features. Once that is highlighted, underneath Xerox features, there's another dialog box. Click in there and click Advanced. Once in the Advanced menu, under Job Identification, click into the menu and disable Job ID. The last or final step will be to program in the accounting code. Under Configuration, click Accounting. Please note that standard Xerox standard accounting and track all jobs and these three prompts should be highlighted and checked off for you. If not, mirror the settings to what you see here. Under default user ID, punch in your user account code. Again, if you do not have a user account code because you are a new agent or your user account code is not working, please speak to the admin at your location. Once you enter your default user account code ID, click OK. The final step is to save all the settings that we just adjusted and programmed in, including your user account code. Under Presets, click the drop down and select Save Current Settings as a preset. You can go ahead and customize this to whatever you want. What I would suggest is labeling it as the location that you were at. Please note you will be required to use this preset at the location that you're at for this printer to be able to print going forward. So if your print is not working or you're not seeing that user account code pop up, ensure that the correct printer and the correct saved preset is selected. Once you're done, go ahead and click print. This is the dialog box you will see going forward when you print from any of your applications, Word, Excel, a PDF, or in Safari. Note that your user account code will save in there. Click OK, and your print has successfully been sent to the printer. If you want to double check if this saved, you can always go back to File, Print. Make sure you're on the printer for your location. Make sure your print preset is set to the name that you just created, and click Print again. Immediately, you'll be prompted with the user ID and you can click OK again. You have successfully set up your Xerox AltaLink printer on your macOS device. If you have any issues installing the driver or you need additional help or assistance at any point with your printer, you can simply go in your web browser in the URL and type in help.inksandstuff.ca. That's help Indigo Nancy Kangaroo Sam Nancy Sam Tango Uniform Frank Frank dot CA and book time with our dedicated print concierge and IT support team to gain assistance. They can remote into your computer and assist you, but remember you must be at the location that you are trying to connect to the printer and on the the network the printer is connected to for our team to be able to assist you. 
or you can email service at inksandstuff.ca with the details of your issue. Thank you so much for joining me.